Well, we're out here in uh, beautiful Alma and uh, trying to get a driveway put in. Get our road base spread, get some swells cut in for some stuff we uh, missed earlier. And, uh, well, just another day at it. As Robert, Park County Gravel's truck driver, brings in more road base, let's watch as Bobby expertly spreads said road base across the driveway. Bobby here makes operating the skid steer look extremely easy, but let me tell you, operating this thing is not as easy as it looks. Bobby begins to finish spreading the first load of road base that was brought in. He runs into a quick little problem. Let's check in with him and see what's going on. Oh, I'm greasing the machine. No little carried away. You can see the little ribbon that came out right here. Just trying to look for uh, just a little bit to come out. That's a little too much. She's squeaking a little, so we gotta do something about that. Grinding metal on metal. All right, at least got the final reached up again. Bro, these flies have like no fear. No, no. They're no, just no. land on you and you blow on them. They're like, oh, that ain't my Yeah, no. I said, watch horse fly. Well, now that Bobby's issue is solved and the cameraman's problem is resolved, we can get back to work. Well, I think we spoke too soon. Looks like Bobby's having another issue. Let's check in with him. What? It's a hydraulic thing too wide. It's very cool. That and it's in the middle of a regen, so. Oh, you can't even run it. I can't shut it off. It has to stay on. It has to go through the regen. And it's going to go through high arrival, so it's going to be a pain to pull down the end. Hydraulic right now, so I got to go hang out. Come to find out, Bubba's not the biggest fan like of the drone. Huh? You don't like it? While Bobby waits for this skid steer to cool down, he shows the cameraman the blueprints for this job. There we are. This is your tank. And this is your top view. So if you're looking from the top of it, like with the drone, you'd be looking down. And this would be from the side. And this is a cut view. So like the tank was cut in half. Okay. So this is what you would see in yep, This is what you see inside of it. Like I said, it's a triple tank. So you get your solids that come in here. Liquid gets high enough, passes into here, gets your float, cleans it one more time, then this pump sends her on up. And this is, I think this is pretty normal. I put a pump in. So all the liquid gets ran through this filter? Mm-hmm. And then it goes into the leach? Yeah, and it's gonna pump. And the engineers send her on uphill, so we're pumping her uphill. And not a short amount of distance. It's a good amount of distance. So if you just run it uphill, I know, big old pump. 
got our take there. We go all the way uphill, all the way to there, to our leech field. It's all uphill. It's good stuff, good nice. stuff. Twenty-one miles south, Griff, Tim, and Millie are starting a huge driveway drop with the guidance of Todd, the operations director here at Park County Gravel. Let's check in with him and see how this job is going to be going. What's up, Millie? Okay. Millie. It's going a little bit better than I thought it would. Yeah. What is this? It's a driveway. This is just the driveway? That's what I told you. Holy yeah. crap. Just a driveway. So, a lot of dirt. Well, this has got to come down probably four or five feet still. Six feet, maybe. And then it gets pretty steep up through here. And then it flattens out once it's up there. Eventually, there's going to be a house where the excavator is. There's going to be a, a guest house over there, which they're going to build first. But you can at least, I can at least drive the excavator. But for the time being, they'll just want this driveway down. So, that's what we're working. Driveway. How long is the driveway going to be? All the way up to the excavator? Uh, no, about 100 feet. So there's like a hammerhead thing right here. I think there is going to be like a parking over structure, something like that. And then it just kind of turns up here and ends. Actually, that flag right where Tim is at right now, that's the end of the driveway. So, Oh, not too long, but... <laughs> steep. <laughs> steep and rocky. A lot, of, a lot of rock to come out. Popping stuff out, no problem. So I was just saying, that's the machine for it right there. Yes, yes, indeed. I didn't realize Phil had bought us a monster, but <laughs> he did. <laughs> you know, that's not. That's pretty steep to be, bringing not a, your, to be bringing a machine up. It's not your average grade. And uh, I had the I had the blade in front and the bucket in front, and I was backing up this way, thinking that that machine was going to tip. So I had my bucket right next to the ground waiting so if I tipped I could just push myself back up and keep going but that thing did not tip at all coming up this hill no problem oh. popping out these rocks on the way because they're sticking out two three feet and uh, what are we doing with the rocks after the driveway is done? So, so I told Griff I'd, I'd like to put like a small retaining wall we can only build them four feet high without engineered plans so a small retaining wall around this outside It'll kind of look nice too, I think. Yeah, make it look nice, uh, and then we'll we'll kind of slope in the rest of the dirt. So yeah, we're making it so that it'll look nice. It'll still function the same way, and then they can have access to their property to start bringing materials and doing whatever else they want to do. Hey, girl. Oh, okay. Twenty-one miles up north. Let's check back in with Bobby and see where he's at.
now that Bobby has all the proper material to complete this driveway, he can get back to work on meeting Park County Gravel's timeline on completing this. As Bobby comes to a close on completing this driveway, let's check back in with him to see how the final touches are looking. Well, there we have it. Road base is back across the top, got everything packed in. Hopefully the customer will be happy and everything will be good. Now that instructions have been given, Griff can get started on getting this insane driveway going. I can understand why Phil is afraid of heights inside these pieces of equipment. That looks sketchy. With this new 135p excavator, Griff makes quick work of making the entranceway for this driveway. As Griff gets further and further through this job, he makes sure to take the time to train Park County Gravel's newest greenhorn, Tim. I would just be like, I would just say cut. I just do the scissor motion, just cut, just cut indiscriminately until um, you start getting close. Then it would be like, oh, you know, go a tenth down or two down or, oh, you went too deep. Go a tenth up, two up or one and a half up, that sort of thing. But like I said, you, you're, you're completely new to this, aren't you? Yeah, dude. Day, day 12, I think. 13. Day 12. You know? I always hated shooting gray until they gave me a laser level. Then I'm like, oh, all right. Now all of a sudden it's not bad. Try doing it with a scope and a bubble level. You got your benchmark. Yep. And then so 10 feet off there, and should is, be flat. Yep. And then we'll start and then after that, 10 feet and be half a foot. Yeah. Which is five clicks. Yes. Yep. You got it down. So, yep. We're yeah. going up. So it goes down. Yep. yep. You got it. Yeah. I just need you to tell me if I need to go up or down. How many equipment operators does it take to do math? Math is for nerds. <laughs> I don't do math. I just usually pull out a tape measure. That's the number. I don't have to ask. Nothing but 
rocks. Is that the greenhorn in the equipment drift? Well, I'll try to show them how to. I'm trying to show them the fingers. Millie, you gotta get out of the way! Millie! Millie! Yeah, get out of the way, Goofus! Griff, your shirt! Your shirt's like half on! What? Your shirt, it's like half on! <laughs> I hate math. I wanted to be a construction worker so I wouldn't have to do math. Here I am. Well, at least it's only by two, three, four, or whatever. Yeah, you're not doing rocket science. If you know your anymore. basic multiplication table. <laughs> for, for a guy who doesn't like math, I do like having numbers, which well, yeah. I don't. You can't pull numbers out your I'm sure I could. <laughs> Griff is doing a great job at showing Tim, the new Greenhorn, the proper hand signals when being the grade shooter. I think so too, Griff. It's a great guess. I think Griff is becoming real good friends with the new excavator. Well, come down here. Digging deeper? Digging deeper. Yeah, here you go. That's the only thing, though. The laser doesn't lie. Yeah, no. Come on, turn. Yeah. Now that some proper training has been done with Tim, Griff can get back to work on making strong headway on this driveway job. Did we forget to mention that these rocks are huge? Yeah. 
Griff and Tim have done a fantastic job at making light work of day one. As Griff and Tim come to a close on this job for the day, make sure y'all stay tuned for next week's episode on...